Hey there everyone, this is Maria Young reporting live from Central Florida. Now what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be reviewing the perfume Rise by Beyonce. Now this cologne actually came out in the year 2014, this year, and it actually came out nearer to the end of January, beginning of February, and what they did is they went ahead and released this perfume on the same day that her counterpart, or maybe not, um, released his. Jay-Z also released his cologne on the same day, which did not surprise me one bit, because as you guys know, they are like the mastermind of promotion and marketing. Um, so again, that didn't surprise me at all. Um, now, one of the things that this cologne does, and, and I've, I've really noticed that she didn't get really big ravings on this cologne um, for the simple fact that it didn't really quite compare to her persona or what people perceive her to be. Um, of course, you guys know that she is very standout in her performance and she really claims the throne in that department. Um, when you see Beyonce or you think of Beyonce, you think of her grand performance, you think of that energy, that full of life, that charisma, um, very heart-pounding performance that she gives. Um, of course, you always think of the seductive side, the alluring, um, the very sexy side as well, and of course, the glamorous side. And I think that her public, her audience, wanted to um, feel that within her fragrance and um, did not feel that it stand or stood up to that, which to that degree and that magnitude, yeah, I, I do agree with you there. It didn't um, stand up to her persona, her personality um, in that regards as a performer. Now, one thing I will say, and let me go ahead and show you the bottle. Um, this is the Rise Beyonce um, perfume. And um, quite unique, I love the bottle. Um, love the fact that it has these like crystallized um, I don't know, stones, it, it reminds me of Superman and Kryptonite, you know, when he was trapped on that land or that, that planet and you've seen all these crystals coming out, it kind of reminds me of that and here again is the bottle and the top of the bottle. Um, okay, although, you know, she didn't get good ravings on this, um, I believe that her promotion on this really lived up to the name rise and one thing that I will have to note on is that is what stood out to me I like to purchase items that have some symbolism within my life or has a meaning and a purpose behind who I am as well so definitely when I heard the name rise you know I thought of myself you know um, I'm all about motivation empowerment uplifting and in every day and in every way I look for a way to rise so when I heard about this cologne I was like okay I will definitely check it out now in her commercial um, she is shown in a pitch black area and around her is swirling like this wind of glitter and gold and um, really did not surprise me that she used gold because gold has always been symbolic to great wealth um, great status. It also is symbolic, especially in the Olympics and in the sports arena, that gold is basically cream of the crop, a number one, first place. So again, did not surprise me that she used the color gold. And in her commercial, it shows her draped in a beautiful, beautiful gold goddess type, warrior type of gown and she seemed very powerful. She exuded just such great strength in that commercial. So as far as her promotion goes, I really think she hit home with that. I mean, give her credit. Now, one thing that I will say about this cologne, um, it is not for everyone. Um, it is a very mature scent. Um, I like to call this cologne, or this perfume, this fragrance, a very mood specific type of fragrance. Um, you definitely can't wear this anywhere 
Um, it definitely, uh, I would say, is a, a power move type of fragrance. Um, a lot of people don't understand that when you give off first impressions or your presentation representative of who you are, um, a lot of things go into play from the way that you talk, from the way that you dress, from the way that you look, and surprisingly, what can add to that as well is the way that you smell. Um, this is a very powerful, powerful, powerful fragrance. Let me take a smell right now. I love this because even when you smell it, you smell power. I mean, I mean, that's a little bit hard to imagine, but it's very strong. It's, um, it has a masculine scent to it. But, you know, when I, when I smell this, you know, I think of, I think of a powerful woman attorney going into battle um, in the courtroom. And to smell this um, really gives me the feeling of being aggressive and being bold and being courageous. Um, it definitely is something that you want to wear when you are about to make a power move, when you want to rise, when you want to feel strong, when you want that strength and that confidence and you want everybody else to know it. It definitely helps. And that is one reason why I really, really, really love this fragrance. Definitely a mood setter. Definitely a mood specific fragrance. Um, you know, Rise, Beyonce, I love it. I love it because of who I am. I definitely would wear this, but again, not every single day. Only on the days where I have to really, really represent and be strong and powerful would I wear this. But congratulations, Beyonce. I loved, love, love this. Um, very, very different. Um, I know in her advertisement, it did say that it, it's, it's a musky scent. Um, has cashmere I think in it because it does have that cashmere vanilla type scent a very masculine as I said very very kind of woodsy um, very serious scent um, but again I love it congratulations um, for this very different fragrance that um, definitely can make a woman feel very powerful. Well, that's it, folks. That is my review on Beyonce Rise. And, of course, I want to ask you to subscribe and stay tuned for more reviews and fashion tips with Maria Young. Of course, subscribe to me at Picture Maria one and leave your suggestions and comments. But, of course, I always say this. Keep it positive. I am not at all into the negativity. So all you negative people, go on an island off by yourself and be negative. Do whatever negative things you want to do, but not in my world, folks. You will be deleted on my YouTube. So thanks, but no thanks. Again, this has been Maria Young. Stay tuned for more, and thank you for tuning in. Back to you. Why? Because it's all about you, 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 you.